please welcome Miss Carmen Tarleton. I've seen a lot of stories of resilience in my career, but I have never seen someone more resilient than you. No, well, thank you. Ever. Can do something to embarrass you real quick? No. Uh, can it, can, can, can I have a kiss? You can, you know what? <laughs> Love. We're going to talk to Carmen in her first public interview since the transplant. She now joins us via the phone in her first interview since the surgery. She's in her hospital room in Boston. And Carmen, so great to have you back on the show. How are you feeling? Uh, thank you, Dr. Carter. Thank you, everyone. I'm feeling remarkably well. I'm doing very well. You sound great. You really yes. do. Yes, I'm feeling really good. So, on well on the mend. Well, you know, Carmen, obviously, in an ideal world, we'd be seeing you face to face. I understand you're still recovering. Um, I do I have to tell everyone in the audience, we can't share you pictures of Carmen yet, but I can tell all of you and Carmen, you know, you, you look remarkable. You, you have eyelids and a nose and lips. Has it hit you yet that you truly have a new face? And also, how's your pain doing? Well, it has hit me that I have a new face, and it feels really, really good to look in the mirror this time. Compared to the last time I had to look in the mirror, so it's just a, a big blessing. And you know, my neck pain was relieved immediately after waking up. Uh, you know, five and a half years of, of some pretty, you know, big discomfort in my neck was removed. Um, you know, uh, immediately, and I really appreciate that. 